And uh, cheap old Glenn behind me bought a kid's drum set. <laughs> So, uh, so some of you remember the story from last year that last year I, I uh, or sorry, when I was a kid I, uh, I wanted to play the bass guitar because I wanted to be like, anybody know? John Taylor. John Taylor from Duran Duran. Oh, nice. Who I got to see last uh, couple of weekends. I don't even remember when that was. A week ago. Luke, 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 Luke. <laughs> He's our, he's our topless dancer. Um, so we got to go, I got to see Duran Duran, my hero, John Taylor, uh, live. It was pretty amazing. And he's a pretty phenomenal bass guitar player. He's actually, he's actually really, really good. And I don't know if you noticed, but I was playing a lot of the same notes over and over again when I play bass guitar. Uh, he doesn't do that. He's really good. So when I was a kid, I wanted to play bass guitar. My mom and I went to the music store. And uh, the guy said he was doing this music store was giving aptitude testing so they could like see if you're a good bass guitar player or piano player or whatever. And so I, I did the test and he's like, You're awesome, you're really good. You should basically he just handed me a bass and said, play something and I was like I can do it now. I did that. I literally did that. And he's like, you should get a bass guitar. <laughs> so my mom spent probably a thousand dollars on bass guitar and all this equipment, which I played for a little bit, and then I think I gave to Ron. Yeah. I just gave it to him. I don't know why. Not me, somebody else. No. Ron, not John. Ron. <laughs> so then, uh, so then, but then we decided to do this, and I wanted to learn how to play the bass guitar again, so we started uh, practicing. I rented the space, and we're, we're playing. And then my wife forgot our anniversary. Yay! Same way! Which time? <laughs> Every fucking year. <laughs> So, but it was lucky for me because she felt so guilty about for, forgetting her <laughs> our anniversary that she said, "You know what? You can you can buy that bass guitar." So, so did you tell them? So this is what? Did you tell them what happened? So I was it was a Saturday morning and I woke up and Kobe wasn't there and I was like, "Oh, I don't know where Kobe went. Kobe went wherever Kobe goes." When he's not here, I don't know where that is. And I was talking to my friend Chris with the lovely poodle. <laughs> and I was like, we're making plans, just doing our thing, whatever. And uh, Kobe came home, and I was like, oh, ha ha. Kobe came home with flowers. And I said, ha ha, is it our anniversary or something? And he said, yep. Actually, it is. <laughs> so those flowers are behind Lorianne. Those are the flowers I bought for her. Nice. Yeah. So, nice but I got a bass guitar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ready for this? Can you hear me okay? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you hear the guitar okay?
Goes out to all of our spouses. And uh, I've never made it through this song. So.
so I, I, I thought like they just like the spotlight kind of came on to me, and, and everyone just kind of went farther away from me. So I was just standing like, just sad, you know, twenty-something-year-old. Hey, Dominic, check it out right there. I know, there she is. There she is. I I told her that story. You did not. I did too. Anyway, that was pretty heartbreaking. So this one's for Gord.
songs. <laughs> so this is a, there's no encore. No, this is not a Gordon Daddy judging the other three encore set. This is the last song. So you better sing along. Chit chat, chit chat over there. All you people, sing along. <laughs> Cell phones nowadays, unfortunately. Uh, she's a good account. She's a good account.